All right, guys, so I'm not even planning on herping today, but I just came across this really big and beautiful queen snake. Let's see if I can show you guys that belly. Look at that, just one stripe down the belly, super orange. That is really cool. This is one of the biggest ones I've ever caught before. That is really neat. Glad to come across one of these. Uh, this is at a complete new location for me too. Uh, I knew that they were here before, um, but I've just never seen one. So it's really cool to be able to see these guys in a different spot than I usually find them. But that is really neat. So I'm just gonna take a photo of this queen and then I'm just gonna let her go on her way. All right, so I'm done taking photos of this queen. So I'm just gonna let her go exactly where I found her basking at. Right about here. There you go. Well, that was really cool. All right, guys. So it is the next day. Um, it's currently about 69 degrees, um, four in the afternoon. Uh, I have a little bit of free time, so I'm going to go out and try to find some herps. Um, going to be targeting. Um, mountain earth snake it's just an area uh that i've known uh that my dad has found one before um long time ago so i'm gonna give that a try with the last few hours of good weather today uh, but i will let you guys know if i find any all right so the first snakes of the evening are this northern ringneck snake and this really big uh red-bellied snake this is probably one of the biggest ones i've ever seen before and she's pretty long, but she's really chunky. And I'm saying she because I'm assuming this is a gravid female uh, just by how thick she is. Um, that is really cool. You can see her belly. It's not really all that red and vibrant as they can get. Um, I don't know if that fades out if they're older or if she's going to go into shed here soon. Um, her eye isn't glossed over yet with that blue tint. So, uh, But I assume maybe she might be going into a, a shed cycle here soon. But really cool. Uh, the red bellied is my first one of the year, so that is always awesome uh, to see the first one of the year. But really love these snakes. Um, definitely going to take a photo of her, and I'm just going to let both of these guys go right after. Here's one last look at this red bellied snake before I let her go. Kind of can show you that pattern on her back a little bit better. Cool thing about these guys, there's a lot of variation in their pattern. Some can be black, brown. Some can have gray sides with brown on the top, uh, kind of like this one. She's kind of brown all over, just a little bit lighter brown uh, on that back stripe. But really cool snakes. So, um, done taking photos of her. So, I'm just going to let her go right back underneath her rock. Next snake of the evening is another northern ringneck snake, which, as you can tell, has musked all over my hand is disgusting <laughs> but uh i already took a photo of this guy so i'm just gonna release him right back underneath his rock look at all these ring necks how many is this one two three four five i think there's five of course they went in all different direction but that is awesome <laughs> that is really cool that there was that many underneath of there but cool just gonna snap a photo of these two just in my hand real quick and then I will just release them right back underneath the rock. All right, so here's the rock that was right next to that uh, flip of the five ringnecks. Saw one of the ringnecks go underneath of here, but I figured I'd get this one on camera for you guys just in case there's more. Just that one. All right, let me see. Can I go out the back. I don't want to crush this guy. Okay, there he goes. All right, we're good. This one, there's two more. All right, guys, that one out of the way, this one out of the way. Cool. Nothing. All right, guys, so <laughs> the next rock over, all of these ringneck snakes are underneath, and uh. There's more than this uh, that got away, but this is crazy. I have no idea how many are in my hand right now. Uh, after this video, I'll count them as I let them go. Oops, there one went. But that is really cool. Just gonna take a photo of these guys in my hand and then move their rock back and let them ba go back underneath. 
That is awesome. <laughs> Here's three more ringnecks that I just flipped. I've seen probably 10 more uh, since that last uh, clip that I just showed you of all of them. But these guys are super abundant all around this one little spot. Um, these might be the last ones I show you guys since I've already shown you a ton of them. But we're going to keep on herping, hopefully find a new species uh, for the day. But I will let you guys know what else we find. Guys, I just found two freaking mountain earth snakes underneath one rock. That is insane. Look at the size of this dude, too. I should say, girl, this is definitely a gravid female. Holy crap. This is amazing. So if any, if nobody knows, I can't even talk right now, so I'm so excited. But if nobody knows what a mountain earth snake is, this is the, uh, um, I think they're ranked endangered. At least they're endangered in Maryland. Uh, the subspecies of the smooth earth snake. Uh, but, the, oh my God, I can't believe not only one, but two of these guys. This is insane. This is exactly why I went out this evening to see if these guys were out. But these guys are a lifer for me. Oh my gosh, that one is so pretty, so orange. I hope that comes off really good in the camera, the colors of this big female. But man, that is awesome. <laughs> I wish I would have got that on a flip clip. I literally like stood and stared at these guys for a few seconds before I picked them up because I was so confused on if these were going to be mountain earths or if I was just looking at a weird looking red bellied snake. But this is amazing. These guys are so rare to find in Maryland. Uh, probably they might be considered maybe the rarest, probably second rarest behind rainbow snake. Uh, like I said, these aren't a full species. They're just a subspecies of the smooth earth snake. Uh, which I'm sure most of you guys know smooth earth snakes are uh, very common species uh, once you go downstate a little bit. But this is amazing. <laughs> I can't believe it. Look at this guy. That is incredible. Underneath this rock, right next to a road. That is amazing. <laughs> All right, well. I am definitely gonna take some photos uh, of both of these guys, and then I will just release them right back underneath this rock, and maybe we'll, uh, well, I'm gonna continue herping this area this evening, and maybe we'll turn up one or two more. All right, guys, so here's one last look at this big gravity female mountain earth. That is so cool. <laughs> I hope I got some good shots of her, but, Look at that belly too, like a yellowish belly. That is so cool. Sorry if I was a little bit excited uh, in the last clip. <laughs> uh, I'm just pumped. This is, uh, I don't know if I said that in my last clip. Uh, this is the last species of snake uh, that I needed to find in my county. So this is it, I'm done. Um, besides there's a really old, old historical record of ribbon snakes in this county. Um, I have no idea if they're still here or not, but this is amazing. I will consider this the last species of snake that I needed to find in my home county. That is so cool. Well, I don't want to bother this girl anymore, so I'm just going to walk her back to where I found her and release her, and assuming that male snake uh, underneath the rock. And here's one last look at this, uh, what I'm assuming is probably a male mountain earth snake and these guys are pretty well look at that belly too cool well this is perfect timing to find these guys because i don't know if you guys can hear in the background but it is starting to rain so i'm gonna go release them underneath the rock real quick and this might be it for the day um unless this rain goes away pretty quickly uh but i will let you guys know uh if i find anything else today all right, so I'm back at their rock where I found them. So I'm just gonna let these guys go. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> I can't believe I found two. Not only one, but two. Cool. Well, here comes the rain. So I'm gonna get back in my car and wait it out. All right, guys, so just made it home. Um, still sprinkling a little bit, but um, temperature really dropped. It's in the 50s right now, upper 50s. 
So I'm just gonna go into my yard and flip some of my boards and see if any snakes went underneath uh, during this rainstorm. But I will let you guys know if I find any. All right, so first snake underneath the boards. This is actually uh, a new flip for me. I've never seen a snake underneath this board. Um, and actually, I don't think I've ever shown you guys me flipping these boards before. I set out these boards probably, uh, I think it was last summer. Um, and I've only flipped here, I think three times and I've never found anything at this spot. But really cool, this is a nice looking garter too. Real big one, but cool. I'm just gonna take a photo in hand and put his board back and let him go back underneath. Oh, nice. This is the board right next to the last one. Another garter. Cool, let me move this guy real quick. And nothing. Cool, well, another garter. I think this rainstorm really pushed all the snakes probably out in our field underneath some cover. So that's probably why I'm finding some here today. That was really cool. Just gonna take a photo in hand and put these guys boards back and uh, we're gonna keep flipping. I think this is the last board for this site. And then I'll go down and flip the boards uh, where I usually show you guys. And nothing. It's looking good though. Oh, nice. It's been a long time since this board has produced any snakes. And that's a good looking garter. Nice, wow, that kind of hurt when he whipped me with his tail. And look, you can see some really cool blue, like flecks in between his scales. That's cool, that's a really pretty garter. I'm gonna also take a photo in hand of this guy, put his board back and let him go back underneath. All right, so last board, and this is usually the board that produces the most. Let's see. Nice, just only two this time. I've been seeing more than this recently, but two garter snakes. Cool. Well, I'm going to get these guys out from underneath and put the board back down. All right, guys. So I think this will be the end of the video. An absolutely <laughs> amazing evening. Uh, I think I only went out for maybe two and a half hours of herping today. And I caught all those snakes, uh, which two of them were the uh, mountain earth snakes, uh, which was awesome. But this will be the end of the video. So if you guys made it this far, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one.